हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ द टॉपिक टाइम एंड वर्क एंड पाइप्स एंड सिस्टर्न ऑफ अवर यू पी एस सी सी सेट पी वाई क्यू टॉपिक वाई सीरीज हेयर इन दिस टाइप वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच केम इन ट्वेंटी एटीन क्वेश्चन सेज अ लिफ्ट हैज अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ एटीन एडल्ट और थर्टी चिल्ड्रेन How many children can board the lift with twelve adults? See everyone, why I have I have kept this question in this topic because, you know, we take LCM approach while solving the questions of time and work, right? So here, the capacity of eighteen adults, right? Eighteen adults or thirty children. So eighteen adults or thirty children. Fine. So just take the LCM of these two numbers, eighteen or thirty. So LCM is ninety, right? So just assume that the capacity, the carrying capacity of the lift is ninety kg. Fine. So if eighteen adults, the total weight of eighteen adults is ninety kg, then obviously the weight of one adult is five kg. And similarly, the weight of thirty children is ninety kg, then weight of one child, one child is three kg. Fine. So question is, how many children can be board the lift? can board the lift with 12 adults so if 12 adults are there in the lift then 12 into 5 because adult i mean weight of one adult is 5 kg plus how many children right so the weight of one child is 3 let's say there are n children so this is 90 kg fine so 12 into 5 is 60 60 plus 3 n is 90 kg right So three n is equal to ninety minus sixty, which is thirty. So n is equal to ten, right? So total ten children can board the lift with twelve adults. All right, everyone. The answer is ten children. Fine. So this is a simple question, and we have used the LCM approach that we are actually using in uh, this uh, time and work topic. Fine. So that's why I have kept this question in this. Uh, Uh, I mean, in this topic, fine, all right, because the approach is same, fine. Okay, let's move to the next question. Next question says, a person X can complete twenty percent of work in eight days. See everyone, X can complete twenty percent of work in eight days. So, if twenty percent of the work in eight days, then hundred percent of the work in what? So, this is five times. So this is five times, right? So this is what eight into five is forty days, right? So X can complete hundred percent of the work in forty days. Now another person Y can complete twenty-five percent of the same work in six days, right? So Y twenty-five percent work in six days, right? So for hundred percent work, obviously this is four times, right? So for hundred percent work, it will take. I mean, Y will take twenty four days. All right, everyone. For hundred percent work, Y will take twenty four days. Question is, if they work together. All right. So just take the LCM. So first of all, X completes the work in forty days. Y completes the work in twenty four days. Right. So take the LCM. So this is what one twenty. Right. So. Let us assume the total work is 120 units. So, X is doing 120 units work in 40 days. It means X is doing three units work per day. Similarly, Y is doing five units work per day. Right? Question says, in how many days will 40% of the work be completed? 40% of the work. So, total work we have assumed as 120. This is the total work. Right? So, 40% of the total work. Forty percent of one twenty, right? So forty percent of one twenty is what? Forty-eight. So forty percent of one twenty is forty-eight units. So when A and B are working together, they have to complete forty-eight unit work. And in how many days they will be doing that work, right? So for for forty-eight units, A and B when they are working together, so they are doing three plus five, right? So forty-eight divided by eight, that is six days. All right. So for forty percent work, they will take six days. All right, everyone. Fine. That's it.
simple question okay now let's move to other one next question a frog tries to come out of a dried well 4.5 meters deep with slippery walls every time the frog jumps 30 cm slides down 15 cm what is the number of jumps required for the frog to come out of the well okay see all of you first of all the you know the depth of the well is given in meters and jumps are given in centimeter fine so just convert this 4.5 meter into centimeter so 4.5 meter is equal to 450 centimeter because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter right okay after that after that frog in every time frog jumps 30 centimeter and slides down by 15 centimeter right so in one jump the positive work is what the positive work is 30 cm right so just subtract 30 cm from the total work so total work is what 450 cm total he has to i mean the total distance the total height he has to you know uh, climb is 450 cm so 450 cm minus 30 cm is equal to 420 cm all right everyone fine so you know the moment the frog will be on 420th centimeter after that he will take one jump of 30 centimeter and he will be on the top right so we just have to calculate in how many jumps he will be on 420 centimeter right so obviously effectively in one jump he is climbing up by 30 centimeters but slides down by 15 centimeter so actually in one jump effectively he is climbing up by 15 centimeters correct So four twenty divided by fifteen, right? So this is twenty eight jumps. So I mean by this process, plus thirty minus fifteen plus thirty minus fifteen. By this process, he will take twenty eight jumps to reach four twenty centimeters. Once he is at the this, I mean at the height of one four twenty centimeter. After that, he will take only one jump, right? And he will be. reaching on the top right so this is 450 cm right so one jump means after 28 jumps one more jump so 28 plus 1 total 29 jumps are required all right everyone total 29 jumps are required correct okay now let's move to the other question so this question came in 2021 Question says a man completes seven by eight of a job in twenty one days. See everyone, seven by eight, seven by eight of a job in twenty one days, right? So man finishes the total job in how many days? So twenty one into eight divided by seven. So this is twenty four days. it means man can finish the entire job in 24 days fine after that the question is saying how many more days will it take him to finish the job if quantum of work is further increased by 50% right see all of you a man can complete the work in 24 days right but now 50% more work has been increased so it means he will take half of the time more because 50% i mean half work more increase so 50% more work is increase 100% work he finished in 24 days right so 50% of the work he finishes in 12 days right so actually if he has to finish 150% of the work so he will take 24 plus 12 total 36 days right everyone correct so actually to finish the entire work i mean 50% more work he total he takes 36 days question is saying a man completes 7 by 8 of a job in 21 days so it means a man already worked for 21 days 
but he has to work for 36 days so it means 15 more days he will take right so the answer is 15 more days right everyone fine okay so the questions are over from this topic right guys now it is the time to discuss about our offerings what unjust offers you guys so we have some programs related to csat only right and let me discuss those programs in detail so first program is csat foundation program this is actually csat foundation program this is a long term program for csat right so those who are targeting like after two years or after one year so they can join this program right and then csat pyq program csat pyq program is a very targeted program that we have designed here we have collected all the questions that came in csat from 2011 to 2021 and we have segregated those questions topic wise and concepts wise right so we are discussing all those questions and obviously we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the csat examination fine so we have discussed all the concepts through questions so actually we are teaching in this program through PYQs only, right? So here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic. And moreover, here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also. I mean, which type of questions may further asked, I mean, may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic. Fine. So this is CSAT PYQ program and then CSAT crash course. Those two, I mean, those students who don't have much time or those who have less time, they can join this program. I mean, we have crash course for two months, for 50 days or for uh, uh, one month also, right? So you can join according to your availability and your convenience. Fine. And then CSAT weekend batch. This batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates. Those who don't have time in weekdays, they may join this program, right? It is a very beneficial program for those candidates, those who are, I mean, those who don't have time in weekdays, basically. Fine. And then CSAT test series along with the discussion. See everyone, this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed here. We have, I mean, we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of CSAT. Fine. Because here, obviously, if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers, then you will see the drastic change, right? So obviously, we have designed the questions based on that only. Okay. So this is a very good program and obviously the discussion is also very important. Fine. How to tackle the paper, how to eliminate the options. This is actually very important. How to read the question properly, right? So this discussion is also very important. And after that, we have a free program in our telegram, five star question series in telegram. See everyone, what is this five star telegram? I mean, five star question series in telegram. Here we upload five questions every day in our telegram channel. Okay. And we discuss those questions sometimes in Telegram and sometimes in our website. Fine. Here, you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum. I mean, till the examination, you may just get connected uh, with the questions for CSAT. Just take five questions every day and uh, I mean, maintain your momentum till the examination. So this is a very, I mean, very beneficial program for the students. So guys, please get benefited out of it, right? Join this program. and. Let me introduce about our uh, contact details. So friends, we have a telegram channel. The link for the same is telegram slash ungist, right? So this is our telegram channel and our website is ungist.com, right? And if you guys want to talk to us, then we have a very simple number 9613192021, right? Again, 9613192021. It's a very simple and convenient number, right? Easy to learn in fact. And let me tell you something about our classes. So we have offline classes. Offline classes we have in ORN, Old Rajinder Nagar, New Delhi, right? So if you want to join our offline classes, you may contact us and you may come to offline classes which are in ORN, right? And we also have online classes. So online classes, I mean, uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures, right? Uh, just by contacting us, fine. So friends, so these are the details that I wanted to discuss with you guys, right? And please uh, stay tuned for very good content. We guys are working for you day in, day out, right? And please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it, right? So thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Thank you so much.